Hi everyone, Joe Ordia here for Solar Surge, and this morning we're coming back to you from the RE Plus International Solar Conference in Anaheim, California. Uh, and this morning I'm joined by Harsh Galia from hey. QCells, and we're looking at the QCell G10 400 watt solar module. So Harsh, thank you for joining us today. Sounds good, thank you. Good morning, how are you? Very good, sir, very good, sir. And thank you for taking some time to chat with Solar Surge today. So I know that, that the QCell 400 watt G10 panel is one of the most popular solar modules that we're installing right now for residential projects. Can you tell us, because I know we're, we're on the generation 10 and we have a new version coming next year. Yep. Tell us, what are some of the technical developments and advancements that we've seen from the G6 model up to the current G10? Yeah, so a couple of things which has improved uh, on G from G6 to G10. First notable change is the gapless technology. So in G6, you had some gap between the cells, but now in this uh, G10 product, we have uh, minimized the gap basically between the two cells. So thereby increasing more area for the production. That's, that's one key thing over there. And uh, we have 12 bus bars over here as well. So that's basically increasing the power by a little bit, not too big, but main notable difference is going to the gapless technology. And uh, obviously there are some small changes which keep on happening in the cell side. So overall the efficiency has increased from G6 to G10. Uh, G10 now we are around 20% mark. And next year, the sorry, next year uh, what we are moving to is Qtron technology, uh, which is going to be around 22% efficiency. Excellent, excellent. So when we talk about the zero gap technology, folks, what we're talking about is, is the space between the individual solar cells by eliminating that or minimizing that. Um, not only does it, it make for a better looking module because you don't, you don't have these little spacings where you see the back sheet, but also since more of the surface area of the module is functional solar cell, you get higher power output as well. Now you said it's an 11 bus bar design? No, 12 bus bar 12. design, yeah. Uh, we do have some small capacity which comes in six bus bar, but uh, most of it is now 12 bus bar technology we are working towards. Great. So, and that, this is another area where we've seen an increase. I remember, you know, three bus bar, then five, seven, nine, now twelve bus bar. And really, folks, what that means is that the the electrons have multiple paths that they can flow through the solar cell. And so, we're seeing now where where shade mitigation was a big issue that usually had to be handled by your a module level power electronics like the micro inverter or the optimizer. Now, because of the cell design and giving multiple paths for the ele electrons to flow through the module, it means that you have a lot of shade mitigation right here at the module level. So if you're using a string inverter, maybe like the, uh, the Solark or the SMA, you're not gonna really have that much of a performance as you used to because of how efficient and, and, and the multiple bus bar design here in the cells. Is that right? That is correct. But uh, the good thing is now the product is becoming so much compatible with module level power electronics. So Enphase, Solar Edge, all those guys, uh, you are able to see the performance very well of how the product is performing. Uh, from previous time, I remember when it was string inverter, people were not able to see uh, how each panel is performing, but now it's becoming to that very each panel kind of structure. So that's a good thing now. Absolutely, absolutely. Well, folks, this is the QCell G10 400 watt all black solar module, uh, one of the most, if not the most popular residential solar panel right now. Uh, and I believe these are being manufactured in Georgia currently, is that, that correct? That's correct. These are being assembled in uh, our Dalton factory in Georgia, which has 1. Gigawatt, 1.5 gigawatt capacity. We have three manufacturing lines over there. And we are doubling our capacity for next year. Uh, by the end of next year, we will have uh, doubled our capacity to 3.1 gigawatt. So that's also an interesting change in the uh, solar industry uh, in U.S. coming up and also QCells. Absolutely. Well, folks, this has been a quick, quick look at the QCell G10 400 made in USA panel uh, in, in very good supply. I know we're, we're, we're supplying this and we're installing this panel in a number of the, of the different markets where we operate, like California, Arizona, Nevada, uh, Florida as well. Uh, folks, as always, if you need to get, uh, let's say if you're in the process of looking at different solar panel options for your home, uh, if you need to get a price quote uh, for getting solar panels installed, or maybe you already have a quote and you need to get a comparison just to make sure that you're getting the right equipment or getting a good deal, uh, as always, feel free to reach out to us on the link below there, and you can go to our website and chat with one of our designers here, and we'd be happy to provide some numbers uh, and some options for you. 
Uh, of course, if you're getting good value from the videos that we have on Solar Surge, be sure to give us a thumbs up. Uh, and also consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. You know, our goal is to come to you with the most up-to-date, uh, best product information, market information. That's why we're talking to ex experts here at QCells. Uh, and so we'd like to share those videos with you. So by subscribing, it'll just come up on your feed and make sure that you can keep up to date with us. Well, folks, thanks again for sharing some time with Solar Surge today. As always, I'm Joe Ordia, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you again soon.